All right, I'm throwing another deep one at you. You, you got all the deep stuff. Right I know, there. I know. Well, you just, you've experienced so much and you just, you continue to come back and give your energy and give your time uh, to the sport. Um, what's one lesson that you hope to pass on to the next generation of softball players? Um, if I had to pick one thing, it would be that we will only reach our potential when we bring our whole self to the table. And that was something I had to learn about myself as a player. And, um, and I encourage in the athletes that I coach now is I, I don't want, I want all of you, whatever that is. I want the good, the bad, the ugly, the messy, the emotional, Um, and let's work with that. Let's work within that framework because you're only going to be, uh, be able to see your potential and go beyond your potential is if you put it all out there. And, um, that's been something that has been important to me at the college level and why I love coaching at the college level is because we're, we're experiencing these young kids at, um, the most transformational stage of their life. You know, the four years where they come in as 18 year olds and we send them off into the world as 21, 22 year olds. And it's the first time they're away from their parents and making decisions on their own and figuring out who they are, who they love, what they love, all those things. Um, And to be able to have um, just a small impact on that path, you know, Um, to try to empower them to figure all those things out for themselves. is really, I take that to heart and that's really important to me. And it's my responsibility and why I love coaching at the college level. And so at the pro level, the last couple of years, it's been fun to watch these women who now are 22 to 32 years old and what it, what a gap there. I mean, I know I'm, I was a much different person. I'm a much different person in my thirties than I was in my twenties. So to, to watch these athletes, the most elite athletes in our game, um, come into the league and be exposed to these true professionals who um, independently uh, take on their day and their game. And they, they know what they need. They know what they want. They also have a better understanding of who they are. And um, so my big message, I'm long winded, obviously, you know that about me though, Chess. <laughs> is that I want, I always say be you like one, one a couple of our bandits players last year, they're like, what's the deal with you saying like, be you like, what's that about? I want to know more. And I'm like, I say that I didn't even realize it. So apparently that's my shtick. But, uh, but when I really thought about it, it is, it is the thing that is most important to me in this role as a coach and um, is to empower women to bring their whole self to the table. And um, I know that through experience in my early 20s and figuring out who I was and um, learning that once I started to, to, to embrace who I was and show it off, uh, that's when I saw my game take off. That's when I saw my relationships, my friendships take off. And, um, and so I, I want to give that uh, experience uh, to the next generation. And also, I just feel like it's the softball is the thing I'm most passionate about. 100%. I love it. Like, I get on the softball field and, like, I'm the biggest geek there is. I could hit fungo for days. It's, I just, I love the game. But I also know that I, I, it's my biggest tool for impact in this world. And more than anything, I want the world to be a better place. And so for me to not stay involved in the game, um, the thing that I'm most passionate about, I feel like there's no greater way I can impact the world than to uh, live through my passion. So, cheesy, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I love it though. It's amazing. I mean, I I just hearing you talk about it, it just uh, it makes me grateful to have people like you in the sport continuing to be an influence and a voice Um, because it's it's important we don't often hear that message um, as players Mm -hmm. just wasn't talked about really and then we don't realize sometimes how we're being conditioned one way 
And then now I'm holding back and not being my true self in fear of what others might think or how others might react. And um, when you like decided to kind of free yourself from those restrictions or those trains of thought, it just is a better way to live and to be. I mean, and I, I feel really lucky that I've been able to, um, I've been put in environments. I've also now learned to put myself in these types of environments, but I was put in environments through the game of softball where I was exposed to these uh, strong willed women, you know, and um, my early years in my softball career were, were I, all of the leaders were men and I love it. And they, like I said earlier, set the foundation, your dad, my dad, Coach Rittman at Stanford, Coach Kendra with the national team, um, and they were all strong male leaders. But it wasn't until beyond college that I started to really get exposed to strong-willed women. And like, I, it's great. I mean, I think about our good friend Megan Jo Willis um, <laughs> and being her teammate. I mean, there's there's probably no no one more authentic than her. And um, it, it kind of was shocking to me at first, you know, I'm, I can win the serious world award sometimes and she is yeah. like off the cuff. Um, but being her teammate and seeing how she empowered me as a catcher, like we could have been competitive with each other, which we were in a healthy way, but she was also in my back pocket when I was the starting catcher in the game. And it taught me, that taught me a lot about my role when I wasn't in the game or if I was at second base instead of catcher and how I could empower her the way she did me. And that was, that showed me not just like her commitment to the team, but also um, her comfort and confidence in herself and what she meant to the group. And she didn't feel threatened by the fact that I was starting a game over her or, or instead of her, not over her, but um, it, it, so I, I'm really thankful that I was able to play beyond college because I feel like the, those 10 years that I did, I was able to play in the, in the NPF um, with women like Megan Willis. And I was able to play on the national team as a a youngin and play with people like Tasha and people like um, Mendoza and Nuvi and Lisa. And it's so I was, you know, 20 years old being exposed to women who knew who they were and embraced it and brought all of it. And um, so I feel like I I got this, you know, special opportunity to be a little bit ahead of the curve and I'm still learning it. I'm still learning how to bring my whole self all the time, you know? So, yeah, it's powerful. Mm -hmm. 